Welcome to Inkson Invest. We talk about investing, finance, and professional development. As we're recording time of 9, 12 a.m. on the Eastern Time on April 14th on Friday. Hope you guys have a great Friday so far, a great week, and we are looking forward to the weekend. Respect to Ethereum, $2,101, up about 4.35% so far. On the overall crypto market, if you look at this relative to the rest of the um, you know market, you could see that Ethereum is up you know quite nicely while the overall market is just relatively flat and what's really driving ethereum to go up is due to the successful uh updates on a technological front uh that ethereum has executed which we'll dive into in a bit on the index front on the uh equity side you can see that we are just kind of stretching away uh, up 1.33 percent uh uh, as the market closing yesterday on Thursday, but pre-market we're down just slightly, uh, normalizing from the green day that we've had yesterday due to the positive job report number um, and obviously the reflections on the previous uh, inflationary number that we also have seen that was um, seemingly kind of, uh, you know, I would say moderately beating expectations uh, compared to the Wall Street pessimism, if you may. And uh, on the um, news front, let's just take a look at it, shall we? Uh, um, so, seems like with respect to obviously the Ethereum driving force is due to the um, the tech upgrade, right? And with respect to the cryptocurrencies, uh, is built on their post Shanghai and Chappella gains. Friday, as investors um, has basically got a sigh of relief that Ethereum's latest tech upgrade was completely successfully with some, with nothing uh, potentially negative that uh, after effects that they were um, kind of expecting, right? Because every single time it's always like, oh, they missed the mark or the technology didn't convert successfully. But it seems like this time it was a relatively positive positive transition. And then on the other front, let's take a look at what happens. It seems like with respect to the news, it's relatively uh, flat on the index front. You could see that, uh, you know, 0.06%, 0.17%. And futures also on the NASDAQ front, similarly. Um, and you could see that the main news that CNBC is talking about, JP Morgan Chase posts record revenue that tops ex expectations on higher interest rate. Obviously, this is more driven by the leverage side of the uh, part of the, the capital market uh, divisions of JP Morgan uh, due to a lot of um, companies or dying companies are in need of uh, cash infusion or credit infusion to sustain uh, their businesses, right? And then all the other news are relatively, I would say, trivial news, uh, just ups and downs here and there on the Ukraine war updates to earnings to uh, some of the market that you kind of have to you know be pending on uh, depending on the upcoming CPI FOMC meetings so let's just dive into technical without wasting more time uh, with respect to recording time of 9 15 a.m on the eastern time let's take a look at the technical front so you can see that ethereum is at 2 100 right now of up 4.5 percent so far and the reason that we're seeing this is because of the successful Shanghai updates, as we understand, right? Uh, but with respect to, is it logical to be buying now? Um, I think the answer would be we could take a look together, right? Well, firstly, with respect to the first level that uh, Ethereum has basically broke through is 2050, which is a substantive resistance level. The next level that Ethereum needs to get up to would be somewhere around the current level right now, but the next level leap up technically should be somewhere around 245, uh, 2450, which is uh, obviously a, a you know quite an extension up from this current level right now. You can see that the separation is quite large, right? And we are 76 out of 70 also. So you know what that means, right? 70 out of 70 is already over high, uh, sky high, and we are basically in space right now. So uh logically speaking buying when it's uh relatively hot in the market it's definitely not advisable so i would say uh the risk is high so it doesn't make sense to short it i would say this is um an effect that we're seeing uh, as we get positive news which is driving people psychologically to be buying in but it makes sense when everybody's super rosy about it to kind of take some profit off the table just, you know, it's a form of risk mitigation, right? Because the risk is high than usual on the technical front, purely, right? And then on the weekly, you could also see that 65 out of 70, uh, this green candle is definitely 
you know mega and you could see a large separation on the MACD front as well so something to be careful about on the monthly you could see that we are looking to glide um, and cross up eventually so it is looking like we will see some form of uh, correction um, which is you know in need of it before we actually continue to run up from here on the Bitcoin side you could see it's relatively flat because the Shanghai update is doesn't really affect Bitcoin because obviously but um, you know, there are, there is some uh, correlation effects between Ethereum and Bitcoin, so it's driving it up to go up a little bit. And uh, with respect to the monthly, it is looking like we're about to form a mega golden cross on the monthly, which is great. The weekly, it is still kind of worrisome. We are the 70 out of 70, so not the best. Uh, daily, it is looking like we need to kind of cross down before we cross up at 72 out of 70 as well, so not looking the best. So Bitcoin is looking a little bit bearish on the near term. Uh, as we correct and then run up from here on then uh, on the index front just take a look at the on the uh, industry um, you know the equity side of the equation you can see that we are quite extended on the daily 65 out of 70 large separation weekly also 60 out of 70 uh, large separation <clears throat> but with respect to the monthly it is looking quite nicely we are looking for um, uh, cr a cross section upward from here, a golden cross. And then on a weekly, you could see that we have a reverse head and shoulder, a head, a shoulder, a secondary shoulder. We're forming the, the second one right now, but uh, we do need to kind of correct before we continue to run up from here, right? It is looking quite extended across the spectrum on the near term, especially. So appreciate you for hopping on a call today. Um, it's a quicker update than usual. Uh, I do have to get going, but appreciate you for your support and your guidance. Um, again, this is uh, interesting, right? Um, but, you know, is it sensical to be buying at this level? It's up to you, right? Because ultimately, if you hold long term, this is like relatively low level. But with respect to, you know, the setup that we're seeing in front of us right now, it is looking like uh, it's quite extended, right? But obviously, crypto trades on a momentum. So it's about like kind of gathering your sanity and then performing the right risk mitigation for yourself. So appreciate you. Have a good day and I'll check you on the next one. Take care. Bye.